Well, after dealing with Deborah's bully friend and falling asleep in the chick flick movie that she wanted to see, well, I'm kind of on thin ice with the lady. I guess I gotta do what she wants for a while to make it up to her, especially with spring break just about to be over. I don't want to have to go back to school with her being mad. And before the video begins, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I very much appreciate it. Alright, look. You can think what you want about it, but I don't care what you think because I, personally, don't think it's gross, okay? You're just saying that because you're my boyfriend. Honestly, what do you think about it? I want you to be 100% honest with me. I am being honest with you. Why would I lie to you? You're my girlfriend and I like telling the truth. You know how bad I am at lying? Look, I'm gonna just go ahead and say it and you can say whatever you want about it, but you, Deborah, I don't want to stroke your ego or anything like that, but you're perfect, okay? Everything about you is perfect. Seriously, Edward? How could I be perfect if I have an imperfection like webbed toes? It's hideous. Just admit it. You call it an imperfection. If that's what you want to call it, then so be it. I think it's just, you know, a special little mark, a beauty mark. I think it makes you that much more special and unique. I love everything about you, webbing and all. You're like a special edition in a comic book. You're like that special, unique one that has what you call an imperfection, but people pay a buttload more money for those kind of comics. Oh, Eddie, you're so sweet. I mean it. I like everything about you. Hey, wait a minute. I know what this is. You know what this is? Wait, what? What's going on? This, all of this situation. You're just trying to get out of trouble for falling asleep during the movie yesterday. I am not. I meant everything I said. Just take a stinking compliment, Deb. You're being a big loser. You're trying to discredit what I'm saying by just assuming I'm lying. Don't discredit me. Just take me at my word. I mean what I said. Why you gotta be such a big loser? I am not a loser. I really think that's what you're up to. You're trying to get back on my good side for snoring during my movie. Well, it was a boring movie. See, look, I'm still being honest. Even you said it was boring. Heck, I wasn't the only one sleeping during the movie, so it was definitely boring. Yeah, well, you were the one who let out a snore. And apparently everyone thought that was funny, except you. Must have been funny for a reason, like probably because the movie was boring and everyone thought it. Including you. Okay, fine. The movie was boring. I know that. So, in my opinion, I should be let off the hook. Don't you agree? Yeah, you're off the hook. But only because I love you and you're so gosh darn cute. Hey, 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 hey. Don't start with that cute situation again. I'm Big Edward now, not Little Edward. Little Edward was cute. Honestly, he was adorable. But I'm now Big Edward, and he is only handsome or stud muffin. One of the two. Cute, handsome, same difference. Now what are we going to do today, other than run away so we never have to go back to school again? <laughs> well, I mean, we could hang out at the cinema again. As, you know, long as we behave and there's no fighting and whatnot again. I just, yeah, I don't want to get in any trouble. I don't want Dad to have to come bail us out or, you know, Miss Amy have to deal with the situation. I don't, I don't want that for her or for Dad or for us in general. Well, as long as Martha isn't there, we won't have any problems. True. That sure was an interesting situation, but, well, you handled yourself very well. It was honestly very attractive to see you standing up for yourself. Um, I'm not sure why, though, but, yeah, also, I mean, you were on your own. It's not like I could really help you because I can't hit a girl because, well, guys can't do that. So you were on your own. Well, what if a girl hits you? What if a girl hits me? I worry about that every single day, Deborah, because I can't do anything. Guys are not supposed to hit girls, but girls can hit guys. I don't know. I don't get that. I don't understand it. I mean, you're not, no one's supposed to hit anyone, but, like, if a guy hits a girl, whoa, <laughs> but if a girl hits a guy, well, he probably deserved it or something. That's what a lot of people think. But, I mean, I guess, I don't know. I would have to ask my dad about that one. Maybe he would know what to do. Probably just tell me to run and hide. <laughs> well, let's get to the arcade. Maybe we can ask him on the way. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Let me just grab some of my money upstairs. I don't have my wallet on me. I don't like to have it in my back pocket at all times. If I'm at home, in the comfort of my home, I don't want it. I don't want it in my back pocket. <sighs> it makes my butt feel funny. Mm. 
Eddie, we've been playing arcade games now for four hours. I'm getting hungry. Can we eat? Huh? Oh, yeah. Sorry, I just, I kind of get in the zone and, well, I just, I just kind of forget about everything else. Even me? Uh, well, yes, everything. Sometimes I forget I even exist and I become the character in the game that I'm playing. I become one with that game. And this game has really grabbed my attention today. What, I mean, I've been on this machine for, oh gosh, 45 minutes, an hour probably? But, um, yeah. Yeah. Wow, that was super nerdy. Yeah, yeah, it is. But, uh, now that you mention it and I've gotten out of the zone, I am feeling pretty hungry. Let's, uh, let's go get some chow. Uh, you want to eat here or at the diner? We can eat here. Oh, great, great. Come on, let's, let's go eat. Oh, man, I am stuffed. It's so strange eating diner food at the cinema. Yeah, it is. I, before eating, said, you know, would you like to eat here or at the diner? And now I realized my dumbness when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgive you. Sure was good, though. I do miss the corn dogs they used to serve here, though. Yeah, yeah, those those were good. Maybe I can see if Dad can, you know, get them on the menu here. I'm sure maybe they know the same people, and maybe those corn dogs are just like a flash frozen place nearby. Oh, that would be awesome. I'll see what I can do then, yeah. <laughs> so, um, what about now? What are we wanting to, you know, do? I'm moving out, and I don't feel like going to the beach or, you know, to the arcade anymore. I, I do realize I kind of did jump into the zone there, and... I don't think I would have fallen out until I was like 40 years old, so good thing you got me out of there when you did. <laughs> so, um, w what else is there to do? Well, we can play Truth or Dare again. Oh, dear. <laughs> don't worry, we'll play it easy this time. We can play it here, in the cafe area. Should make for an interesting game, don't you think? Well, all right. I guess why not? But nothing too crazy, okay? I'll try not to. All right, well... Seeing as it was your idea to play Truth or Dare, I guess I will hit you with this. Ladies first. So, um, Truth or Dare? Oh, you got me. Okay, fine. I'll start off with a dare. Oh, wow. Starting off with a dare. Okay, uh, huh. You caught me off guard. Oh, I got one. This will be pretty tough. This might take you a minute, too. <laughs> Say the alphabet backwards. Oh, that's easy. Z Y X W V U T S R Q P O N M L K J I H G F E D C B A. What? How did you do that? You didn't even sing a song of sorts to, you know, help you along the way to do it backwards. If there even, you know, even is a song to help you sing it backwards. How did you learn that? Well, I was bored as a kid one day and just memorized it backwards. Well, heck. You got away with a good question then, huh? Well, gosh darn it, I thought I had you. <laughs> All right, your turn. Truth or dare? Well, I'll start slow. No cannonball in the deep end for me like you, so, uh... Huh. Truth, obviously. <laughs> All right, then. What is the longest you've gone without a shower? Longest I've gone without a shower? Well, I mean, I went camping for a week, and there was no showers or baths to bathe in, so I guess a week. Ew, Edward. Well, I mean, it's not too gross. I mean, I went in the river if that counts. My body got wet, just uh, no, you know, soap or shampoo or anything like that. Well, it's still a little gross. All right, my turn. Okay, fine, so be it. Uh, truth or dare? I'll go truth this time. Okay, truth. Have you ever peed in the pool? Well, yeah. Well, yeah? Ew, why would you say it like that? Well, I was like four years old, so nothing recent, okay? Oh, okay, all right. That that I understand. You said it so nonchalantly, it kind of scared me. Okay, uh, truth or dare? I'll go with dare this time. Okay, I dare you to make the loudest fart noise you can with your armpit. Oh, well, I can actually do a pretty decent fart noise, I guess. So, um, yeah, I guess here we go. All right, well, let's hear it. Okay, well, here you go. <laughs> That's really good. 
fucked. <laughs> oh, it's you two again. Seriously, fart noises? You're out of here. Oh, come on. We were just playing around. You're being foul and disgusting. Go do it at your house. Or should I call the cops? Disrupting the public peace could get you arrested, mister. And to think I gave you five dollars yesterday. All right, come on. Come on, Deb. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was funny. Oh my gosh, I can't believe those fart noises are getting me kicked out. Oh my gosh. <laughs>